fun words with really. week, I'm short. Sure. You're short! Last week you were short. The week before you were short. What do you think this place is? Some charity? No, I don't think anything. You could pay it if so. I don't know what I'm doing in a dump like this. You want another?
The old man's okay. Patch him up and put him to bed. He might get tetanus. What? Tetanus from the fork. Yeah, I'll call the doctor in the morning. Sometimes I feel like saying to hell with the whole thing. The place, life, the whole damn thing. I'm just getting too old to... Lodge says he's going to take the place if I don't pay up soon. I can't pay you guys. Dot's only taking tips. Do you think she'll leave? I don't know. If she does, what'll happen to the band? I don't know. Last night? Mm. I'm out pulling a fork out of a guy's cheek. He tried to rape me. Oh, bullshit. That shows how much you care about me. Back to that again? What's the matter? Georgia, get you down. You know, I think I got the money situation solved. How? An angle. What angle? You got angles up the yin yang. You are too negative. Thank you, Norma Vincent Peel. Name's Dot. No, I mean a, an angle on the stunt show this weekend. You're gonna die one of these days, you and your stunts. You remember Bill? Who? My sister, Belle. Oh, yeah. Swell Belle. Fastest girl in the ninth grade. Became a stripper, didn't she? County fairs, burlesque houses. Hey, why don't you bottle this mood and sell it for rat poison? Forget it. What? Never mind. Oh, what? Oh, look, Darcy, and I'm sorry, honey. I'm just a bit tense this morning. Too much bourbon last night. Well, anyway, she left Reno. Quit all that. She's a singer now. A singer? Can't she sing? Yeah, she's pretty good. So? She's staying up at Mama's. So she's looking for, for something to do. What the hell? Maybe these clowns will go for it. Can you get her over here this afternoon? Try. No. Seems to tell me how much you miss me, darling. Oh, can it be? I looked in your eyes and saw myself in you. Love me too. 
Jacked up, and you tell him the koala bears. I won't sing in that dive another night. Make up your own mind. I'm just tired of chasing some lounge lizard who's got another idea. Okay, some new deal cooking. <clears throat> some wild goose cheese. Screw me, and then to hell with me, huh? Kind of interesting. I guess everybody around here has heard of her. Might draw a crowd. How do I feel? To bang and say. Why don't you see for yourself? Mule hasn't taken his eyes off of her, uh, you know well, what, think, since she well, came in. Yeah, I think they take one look at you and they'll just be struck down. Just <laughs> send Dolly Parton running for the hill. Yeah, but people always want me to take off my clothes. Oh, yeah, I know that one. They won't let me do it the way that I choose. I got those bumping grind blues. So, what else are you going to see? is Miss Belle Barnett and her 44s. What's she doing here? Well, we all thought you would never see a dump like this again. What's she doing with my band? Your band? Okay. So you guys are about 8.30, we yeah. warm up and everything? Right. You wear jeans? Yes, I am. Oh, well, uh, I'd like you to meet Miss Dolly Pop. I'm very pleased to meet you. Well, uh, I'll see you all later. Wait a minute. So long, Bill. Life sure is interesting. Ain't it? Look, I appreciate all this, but if it's going to cause any trouble... Ah, uh, trouble's my middle name, honey. We'll see what happens. Why don't you come around tonight about nine and give the customers a real treat? Okay. Georgia. Thanks. Ah. Bye. 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 
Now you're really up the hill, gang. No, there's no reason you for you. You look. I just want one thing. I just want to sound good. Marty's bringing the guy in Sunday. I just want to sound good if that's not too much to ask you, burnouts. Mr. Larch, he was supposed to make some kind of arrangements for us to use this here strip out front. I didn't know Larch had anything to do with this. Has he, Rob? God, no. Has an office about three miles up the road. Thanks. Don't mention it. Take it easy, sis. Hey. Look at this. Look at this. I want people to listen to me, not look at me. It's pretty. You look so nervous. I am nervous. I'll be all right. They'll love you.
tonight, as you know. And I want, I want y'all to give her a good listen, because she's a wonderful lady. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Belle Barnett. after the other. <laughs> then there was this promoter. Said he was going to make me a million bucks. Yeah, sure. Yeah, all I had to do was fill up my tits with silicone. Oh, ouch. Yeah. You know, you got to change to be a star, honey. That's what he told me. That's where you got that song from, huh? That's right, yeah. Yeah. Then they took me to Las Vegas. Boy, did they make me lose all my money on that one. How'd you lose your own money on? What would you spend it on? Writers, composers, producers. Yeah, mostly producers, I would guess, right? Shit. A lot of those. Well. You want to stop and get a drink? I don't feel like being around anybody. Well. Especially people. I got a jug of tequila at the motel. You got any lines? We can stop up the road here and get some. Honey, you don't have to be afraid of those old boys. They love you. They just want something from you, though. Yeah, they want something from me. Oh, come on. Now, listen, they hear you're a stripper. Does that mean I have to take off my clothes to make them listen? Well, to them, it probably does, but you can fool them. See, look, they hear you're a stripper and expect you to take off your clothes, right? Okay. First of all, you go out there in denim, you look like... Everybody's country western singer. They're expecting a stripper to come out, right? Okay. Now, if you wore a costume that was a little more jazzy, you know, a little oh, more... flashy. The flashy, flashy kind of thing, like the kind of thing you used to wear as a stripper, right? Then then you come out and they say, oh, there she is, the stripper. They'll just sit there and wait for you. Then you, you do a song. Fit? You can catch them with the song. See, you got to trick them. you got to educate them. Hey, you got the voice. I'm telling you, you got it. No, I don't think so. You know what the problem is? The other problem is a song. We gotta change that song. They come for country western. 
And that's Tube Nightclub, the way we're doing it. Now, we can, it's not the lyrics, it's the melody, it's the music. So we're going to find some way to do it. That's country western. I mean, it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have, you have to change to be a star. You know, it doesn't have to be that, it doesn't have to be that, you know, but... There's a good change, there's a good chord change, you know. You got the change to be the star. Well, that's, that, that yeah, sounds like... Let me try. Alright. You got to change to be a star. Ah, you got the idea. That's a, you know, I mean, like that melody with those chords. Yeah. I see what you mean. You know, I don't understand. You're so scared, but you got the whole thing. You're a beautiful woman. You got talent. You got it all. <laughs> I can't figure out why you're so upset. I wish I was as cute as you. <laughs> why, did he? Sweet child, <laughs> memories. They don't bite you, know. Sweet dreams in the mind. Well, they bite me, I'm gonna bite him. Arch? Yeah, this is Sam. Yeah. What's happening? Well, how much longer are you going to give? I thought we agreed on one more week last week, Larch. What? She'll have it. All of it? I don't believe it, Larch. Here's your coffee, Sam. Thanks, honey. I said I don't believe it. Anyway, we made a deal. Now, I want that place, Larch. You got that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. out of that thing if you're not careful. You don't think I'm getting fat, do you, Sam? Well, now, let's just see. Hmm. Well, maybe, just a touch. You don't really think so, do you, Sam? Well, maybe I should feel again. Oh, Sam, I can never tell when you're kidding. You look just fine to me, honey. Just fine. What's the story on the place? Well, you know, Larch, he screwed things up as usual. Hmm. What do you mean? He says George is going to pay up. Gosh, why don't you just buy her out instead of going through all that crap with Larch? 
How many times do I have to go through this with you? You don't think she's going to sell out to me, especially if she knew what I was going to do to the place. But it's so dirty and all its awful people. Something wrong, Sam? You just do like I tell you and everything will be fine. Okay, Sam, sure. Look what the cat dragged in. Hello, Georgia. I heard about your trouble last night. Oh, you know, Sam, boys will be boys. Yeah, you've got quite a mess on your hands. I've seen worse. I'm gonna close for a couple of days, clean the place up, let things cool off. And then what? Business as usual. Gonna bring Belle back in here if she's willing. <laughs> she's quite a draw. You know you're a glutton for punishment, Georgia. A glutton for punishment. And, uh, just what brings you down here snooping around, Sam? What's up? Now, why does something have to be up? I just heard about your bad time, and I thought oh, I'd come by. Cool. I don't see how you keep it up, Georgia. Scraping by. This damn place stinks of beer. Drunks. Hack musicians, worn out strippers. You ought to just join a carnival, Georgia. Any carnival's got more soul in his little finger than you'll ever have in your whole damn body and the body of that little cupid doll you've been running around with included. Oh, you're just jealous. Sure, Sam, sure. Well, now she's only my secretary, Georgia. You never change, do you, Sam? I'm only thinking of you, Georgia. You deserve it better. Well, nothing you can give me is better than this. this morning. I think she kind of likes Jimmy, though. Yeah, Georgia wants her to sing again Sunday, after the show. Mm -hmm. I don't think she will. No, that's too bad. I thought she pretty good myself. Yeah. Thanks again, Marty. Send the money from L.A. just as well as from here. You know what you said the other night? Oh, you know, late night, too much whiskey, too much pity. People say a lot of things. Yeah. Where's Bobby? Meets me. Now, I don't want him hurt. I just don't want him to win that money. He's that good, huh? That's right. I've seen him drive. He's that good. Well, you just figure out some way to get him away from that car for about a half hour and you ain't got nothing to worry about. No problem. Frank, I'll take care of it.
Texas. Hey, little darling. Hey, ain't seen you in a long time. Yeah, I want you to meet my good friend here, Bill Gardner. Oh, yeah. Why don't you hop in? Come with me. Please to meet you. Yeah. 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 One more time I want you to come down the road with me. I think you're good. What do you mean by that? I don't mean just some dead. I was just curious to see how far you'd go. I really like a singer. I want you to open the show. Would you? Looks like we're a team. For you. Well, I was just driving up to Sam's and my car stopped. Just stopped, huh? Yeah, it just stopped working. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's out of gas or what? How'd you know I was up here? Well, I didn't. I just stopped at the nearest house or uh, barn I could find. I think you could have a look. Well, I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, please, it's not very far away. Tell me where it's at. I will. loose wire or somewhere.
actually think your sissy ass brother can whoop me? Listen, you loud mouth tumble monkey. My brother could drive rings around you while you're trying to get your finger out of your nostril. Your brother can even bite his ass with both hands. You better watch your mouth, mister. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Who are you? The guy you just called sissy ass. This has got to be your sissy ass brother. Do you actually think you can beat me tomorrow? That's right. All right, hold it right there, Mr. Stoner. I'll take you on any time. Tonight, tomorrow. I'll even put up another ten grand if you want to go do it right now. You know that I don't got that kind of money anyways. We got that kind of money sitting right over our heads. We'll put this whole place up against your lousy ten grand. There's your bet. You got it, buddy. Let's go do it. Well. Come see about that deed in the morning. You made it with Dan. It was this really? long. Sam set me up for it, but I didn't know it would be so much fun. Hope he doesn't get hurt. Who'll get hurt? I, I, uh, you gave what did you do to him? No, you bitch! You dragged yourself right down. The tapping of your teardrops on the ground Get outside your shell Those things won't make you well You're a broken part of a living fairy tale that her old man thought he was so bad and lost his sister's business. <laughs> Pretty tough, huh? So now I'm Asshole. Oh, 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 oh. 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 He's gonna try the firewall! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, pal. afternoon when I came looking for you at the barn. You were fucking that little tramp. If this is 
a game You got to tell me who is winning How am I supposed to play Never knowing If I don't pass go I'm going to say Here we are again Back it up again You and all your friends and relations And me all alone in this lame situation Baby, please mm, Tell me that it just can't be Things I said to you And what you said to me Now, baby Have you got a ticket on?
Hey, I'll give you the goddamn money. Wait. I'll give you the goddamn money. It was Diamond's idea anyway. Where in the hell is it? In a trunk. Ma, 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 ma. Go ahead, you play. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, ma, look at this. Oh, mama, 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 come and look at this. What you doing? Mama, mama, come and look at this. She's out on the left, he's doing a double twist. Hey, 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 hey. after all the night and I'm not going to be singing with you anymore Garvey I'm going to be on tour with him and Belle deserves a chance in the limelight probably better all the way around probably you have a better chance on it, sweetie. It's what you want. Yeah. That's what I need. Really? Good luck. Mm. Mm. The most successful sad-eyed lover loser I can be. All right. Like it? Yeah. Might be all right. What do you call it? It's called Somewhere Over the Weekend. Somewhere Over the Weekend. Snappy title. Somewhere Over the Weekend. <laughs> sounds like a sounds hit. Like a hit. <laughs> sounds like the weekend's over to me. What's wrong? I don't know. I, I don't think I can go on. Come on. What's the matter, Bill? I just don't want it to happen again. Oh, honey, it ain't gonna happen again. We talked about it. We worked on it. We worked on the tune. We got Bill Garvey to warm him up for you. Yeah, I know, but, but they all love Bill Garvey. Listen, if they like Bill Garvey, they're gonna eat you up. You're a lot cuter. Yeah, but... <laughs> Do you trust me? Do you trust me? No, seriously. Yeah, I trust you. All right, you trust me, then you can go out and sing your songs, because you're real good. You get nothing to worry about. <laughs> Okay. 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 I know what everybody here is coming. 
Kentucky Western Band, as we are. And, uh, yeah, we have somebody with us tonight who's very well known in this field. Now, I've known this man for a long time. I've known him uh, since before he was a big star. And uh, I'll tell you, last time I saw him was in Nashville at the most exclusive country club in Nashville. And he was playing golf, which is a rich man's game. And I noticed that when he was on the on the green, you know, he'd putt. And then the ball would get right up to the hole and he was going to push it in. Well, I remember him when he didn't have a putt to push in. Well, all right. Now, I tell you, I, tell you, I, trust, this man, I trust this man so much that I'm going to lend him my wife. Now, I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's going to sing for you, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bill Garvey. I just read to play something that everybody knows. Will a circle be on both of you? to me outside of the ranch. What do you mean never talk to you outside of the ranch? That's what I said. Now, what are you doing here? You should know what I'm doing here. And what's that? Your old lady snitched me off. To who? Who's she talking to? To Doris Ann. Who do you think? And you should know. I can't even get my money back now. So Dan knows? You're damn right. We got into a hassle, man. Look at my face. I see that. Well, what about the rollover on Sunday? We already did the rollover. I can't even get my money back. Why not? He's starting to put a felony charge on me for attempted murder. Because your old lady snitched, man. Well, you're on your own now, and you knew it when hey, you were look, to man. You don't just get away from me. Now, get the hell out of here. Okay. I'm gonna split. But you better never leave this town. I better never see you in another town again, man. You owe me. Leave, Stoner. you to do just like I said, and that's all. They're through.
Shark. 